Okay, 1994 red on red with white soft top Corvette doing its first flyby. Wow, he's cooking. He's cooking with gas. Get him, buddy. Good lord. I'm ready, Freddy. Hello, everybody. I'm Christopher. The guy behind the camera is always Jake the Snake, and this is Fast Lane Classic Cars. Jake, take it away. Oh, my lord. Yep. Hi everybody, I'm Christopher, the guy behind the camera is Jake the Snake, and Jake, this is Fastlane Classic Cars, isn't it? Yes, it is. We're That's right, so now you have some things to say, yes, don't you? I'm going to say some things. Why don't you say some things? We're 15 minutes outside St. Louis to the west in St. Charles, Missouri. I'm going to put the phone number above Chris's head. Look, there it is. Remember it, write it down, call us about this amazing C4 convertible or the other 150 or so cars we have in any given time. And also, 92% of you that come back and watch these are not subscribed. That doesn't make any sense. It makes me upset. Whoa. So please subscribe and hit the bell icon down below because then you get notified when we make cool videos like this. And we make these all the time, don't we, Chris? All the time. But for now, I want to hear you talk about this awesome 94 C4. Well, there you go, it's a C4. It's a 1994 Corvette convertible red with red interior and a white top. It's got the old LT1 in it. What a really dependable LT1 engine it is. It's only got, well, it's got under 33,000 miles on it. It's got a Bose stereo with CD and cassette player, an automatic climate control, which means you set the temperature and away you go. It's torch red, white vinyl top, four-speed automatic. It's a wonderful car and now, because Jake the Snake and I have figured all this out, after all these days and decades of doing this, we're gonna show you how to put the top up. Well, first, I wanna oh. see the engine bay. Oh, let's go see the engine bay. Do you bay wanna then. pop the hood for us real quick? I don't see why not. Ooh. It opens oh. backwards, ladies and gentlemen. And the fender goes with it. You can see the it, top it's so of the tire grand. when the hood is up on the C4, which I always thought was super cool. But there is your LT1 V8. Mm. It's really shoved back there. Good weight distribution. Great. It's kind of like behind the center of the front wheels too. So it's almost, not quite, almost a front mid engine. But uh, yeah, very powerful. 300, 300 360 foot pounds of torque. Yeah, especially for a car that's not that heavy. Oh no. This thing's pretty good and the hood's super light too and it has a strut. So you, uh, you don't need to fight it to put it up. Kind of lifts itself up on its own. Very nice. And now, and now the, mag the majesty of the manual top. Yes. There's a little yellow button right here. You can kind of see it. You can see it when you pop it up. Oh. There's the yellow button. Now, see? Oh, yeah. See it right there. And then you'll lift the front of the top up first, like Chris is doing now. Very nice. Then the back. Oh. And then you put the clamshell back down. The clamshell, ladies and gentlemen. Give it a good slam, very nice. And then you put the backpack down and then you uh, give it a slight push. I heard it click. To click it in place. Thank you for clicking that in place. Absolutely. And then you just hop inside real quick. I guess you don't need to hop inside. Well, I wanted to show you. There's two latches. Chris just did one. There's another one right there if I can focus. Can you see me? I can see it. And Bob's your uncle. And Bob's your uncle. And then your uh, top is latched down. And look at that. Ta-da. Beautiful white top. It's a brisk November day, so we figured we'd probably put the top up for our little drive. Shall I start it up? Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Here's your microphone, good sir. Oh, the microphone. The microphone. Good old microphone. Oh, let me hop in this thing. 
kind of got to fall into it though. Well, it's a C4. Yeah. It's got the lip. It's not super high off the ground. And also, we have real seatbelts. Look at us having seatbelts. Modern seatbelts for modern people. And we're pretty modern. Chris is the most modern person I know. Mm, let's not go too far, but here we go. We're off like a dirty shirt. We are. 32,460. That's it. After this little trip, it'll be 463. This has about 110,000 miles less than my C4 head. Isn't that something? That is something. And this is bringing back memories because every single button in here is in the exact same place as my C4 was. Very now, cool. I have power seat. Do you have a power seat? Um, I don't think I do. Let me see. No, mine's a manual. I mean, yours a manual. Well, the driver is the king. Yes, yeah, so this is your power seat button for the driver. In a car that would have both, you'd have a similar button on the other side. But in this one, you have a little compartment here to a store stuff. stuff. In this case, Chris is storing his phone. Here we go. But we do have automatic windows. Boogie, woogie, woogie. They're electric. Boogie, woogie, woogie. We love saying it. Now where the hell's mine? Uh, you're oh, touching the I button. I have both. You're touching the button. <laughs> I have one for you. Well, yeah, of course. You're the driver. You can I do my driver. window if you want. I'm in charge of everything. So. Oh, very nice. The horn works good. Yeah, I love the nice. steering wheel on this. You got the nice Corvette badge in the middle of it. And yeah. that, that uh, airbag is <laughs> massive. Yeah. Uh, this was the 90s, so they weren't really that good at integrating airbags to where you couldn't tell they were there yet. So you got a big poofy steering wheel. It's poofy. In the Corvettes in the 90s. Uh, on my side, you really don't have anything. There's no glove box over here. There's the airbag on the dash, but other than that, it's just blank. I got some vents, though, that I could do. And we have the heat on. We and it's do. working because it's cold outside. That's right. But it's nice in here, especially with the windows up. Uh, here in the middle, you have some different buttons you can change, like your fuel info and your gauge and stuff that show up on the dash. And this mm -hmm. big blank thing here, you're like, oh, is that a television? No. They did not put TVs in cars yet in 94. This not is yet. where all of your uh, check engine lights and stuff would pop up, if this car had any. Which it does not. Which it does not, because it's in great condition and it's very low miles. But they would show up here. You can kind of see faintly, maybe, uh, the outlines of the buttons in there, but they're not lit up. Then below it, here's all your HVAC controls, air conditioning and whatnot. And then down here you have, oh, we forgot to bring a cassette. Oh, boom. I wanted to hear James Taylor. We can try it when we get back. We will. But we have a CD player and a cassette player. Oof. Very cool. You also have AM, FM radio. And then you have all your equalizer buttons over here that you can turn. And then there's your volume. Oh. You receive a limited edition blues hot oh wow man it that's louder loud. than loud well we do have a bone sound system it is a very good so system. it can get very loud um and then down here even further is your automatic shifter of course we do have overdrive ah so you can cruise this thing on the highway pretty easy and then you have your little uh, cup holder thing that you oh, can cover up. What else is in there? Did I'll you get it? to that in a minute. Oh, you know you're going to say it. But uh, the plaque here has uh, the type of engine you have, so LT1, and then your horsepower, your cubic inches, your torque numbers, compression ratio. Very cool. 5.7 liter tuned port injection. I always thought this was cool that Corvette did that. But yeah, you flip this open. Not only do you have two cup holders, they're pretty small though. Tiny cups. Yeah, you can't really put a big gulp in there. They're not made for modern cups, but you also have this. <gasps> and this is a cigarette lighter in case you want to take up smoking. But don't smoke kids. Smoke tires, not cigarettes. Amen. But yeah, you, you can just uh, cover it back up with this cool plaque, which is very cool. Oh, here we go. A little, but well, this isn't even the bean test plaque side. Oh, I know. We've got a lot of cool things there. Yeah, you got an RPM gauge on the left, and you have oil pressure, oil temp, coolant temp, and voltage. And then all of those like engine buttons that I was telling you about change what's on that little orange screen in the middle. Yep. What you can see. Over on your left, you have traction control and the headlights. Do you want to pop the headlights up real quick, Chris? I would love to. Look at that. They did the flip. Pop up headlights, and then they flip back down. They do like a whole 180 degree turn. Love them. Which is very cool. This and you have fog lights over there lights. as well, it looks like. There's my mirrors. Uh, power mirrors, yeah, you can adjust them. Power windows, of course. Yep. Power locks, I Power believe. Lock. This thing's got it all. Yeah, woody, woody, this thing's woody. got everything. And uh, a really nice top. Have you noticed how quiet it is in this yeah, car? Yeah, we have a rear window defogger. We on do. On the soft top. That's I know. incredible. It's fancy. Oh, we're here at a bean test. We sure are. Time to see how many beans this has. All right, let me Let's get see. ready. Here we go. Go ahead. Well, I can tell you it has, oh goodness. It's not a heavy car. Wow, this puts you back in your seat. Love it. It's pretty quiet too with the windows up and everything. Man, it's a nice running car. You could cruise this across the country easily. But yeah, 300 horsepower, 340 pound feet of torque, 
10 and a half to one compression. That's pretty spicy. That is a spicy meatball. That is a spicy meatball, especially mm -hmm. when you're coming out of the fuel crisis and everything was like seven to one, eight to one. Oh. They were trying to save on gas. They were dogs, ladies and gentlemen, they dogs. Were dogs. They were dogs. This is when this Corvette started getting fast again. Yeah. Was the C4, especially these, the later C4 with the LT1. Great transmission. Yeah, they're actually quick. And Very. mine was an automatic too. I loved it, it was fast. It, uh, it got out of its own way, that's for sure. That's for sure. -er. So, are we ready? to do flybys. I'm ready. I do. Let's, Let's do it. Do it. Okay, 1994 red on red with white soft top Corvette doing its first flyby. Wow, he's cooking. He's cooking gas. Get him, buddy. Good lord. Oh, hello, Chris. Oh, and how was it, Jake? It was factory. <laughs> it was factory. Everything in here is exactly the way it was in 1994. And I love that about it. The steering's really tight, too. I know. The steering's tight. The seat works. Everything works. The radio, none of the dash lights are on, like I was saying. I mean, the fuel gauge, of, of course it works because it's electronical. Electronic. It's electronical. No more gauge for that. So these little bars that show up in the middle of your dash there. And only 32,000 miles Can't for 1994. That's 30 years ago. That that's is. That's a thousand miles a year. That's that's low. That's low. Well, it's a Corvette. Yeah, I know. I People mean, take care. And as a young person, it makes a good noise. But as a young person, I could say that it could be a little louder. Yeah. But I'm obnoxious. Unlike true. most people. That's so, true, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I think it's, I mean, other than that, I mean, I can't fault it anywhere. No. And I really can't even fault it there, but I mean, this is incredible. Hey! You ready to go back? We're ready. Let's do it. Camera inception. Camera inception. Anyway, we're back from our drive and Jake's holding the GoPro, which is me. That's we're, Jake. We're having camera inception. We forgot this before we left on our drive. This is James Taylor's greatest hits. And we want to try out the cassette player. Where does it go? This way? No. This You're way? Funny, yes. That's what I thought. Oh. Listen, man, I haven't listened to a cassette in a while. Since yesterday. Since yesterday. You probably should turn it on. Probably should. Oh, it clicked. This is the good tape player. This works incredible. This works perfect, and it Bose really does make a difference. The eject should be somewhere down here. Oh, that's all right. Oh, it's right here. I'm just listening to James Taylor. I love this. He's happy. It works. We're going to get copyright struck. Yeah, oh well. <laughs> anyway, we wanted to test the tape player. It now works. We, now we test the tape player. We'll see you next time. Bye.